the ocean is just is just a wonderful, beautiful thing. It's just my best friend, my buddy. It uh, puts me on the same page with any generation. It's, it's a common language between us that we share our passions about the surf. I was swimming before I could walk. I've had an affinity with being underwater and being in the water and on top of the water, it doesn't matter. That's always been very closely tied in with who I am. My first surf at the pass was Christmas 1964. I was 17 and finally had my driver's licence and said, I'm going to Byron Bay. I fell in love with Byron Bay that very Christmas, getting such long rides, no crowds. It was paradise. It's not just home because I grew up here, it's home because I get to experience the community. People remember small details about my family and, you know, it's, it's nice. No wetsuits in those days, middle of winter. And there's another one just saying Byron Bay. I've taken a photograph of three surfers. They're probably my two mates and, and a random. They're all on the same wave. It didn't matter back in, back in the day. We didn't know we were dropping in. We were all just surfing, having fun. I remember there was a day at the past not that long ago, someone I went to school with called me onto one of the bomb sets. And I just remember thinking, that doesn't happen anymore. Like that used to happen. And it, I just was like, I was riddled with happiness. I first picked up a camera doing photography at Byron High. So I've always loved that media of being able to just take a moment in time and preserve it. I've been a builder pretty much all my life, and it just seemed to lead naturally to wanting to build my own house, built of love and frustration. <laughs> now that I'm retired, I particularly enjoy working up here in my little country workshop with this outlook that I have. So just anything that's honest and true and old fashioned, I just get drawn to it. What I've learnt to do is work backwards from being dead and then go, how stressful do I really need to be? Don't, don't dwell on the things that you can't do anything about. Dwell on, hey, the Southerlies just kicked in. I'm out of here. I'm off to broken head. <laughs> how could you not be positive living here? We have everything and I guess that is something that the oldies have instilled in me. Don't miss out on your youth because you're so busy trying to figure everything out. I didn't used to do age, so I must have come of age. I'm nearly 72. Recently, people have been looking at me, my age, still surfing, saying, wow, what a legend. And I go, legend? I'm just the kid compared to old Bill, my mate. He's just turned 88 and he's still surfing. He is the most inspirational icon. The way it should be to me is being able to have time to appreciate things, to not fill your life up to the point where you can't just stop and have a coffee or stop for 10 seconds and lay in the ocean and don't take your time for granted. I enjoy it every day. This is the day I don't enjoy getting up and looking out from my deck and the area around us going, yeah, this is, this is the way to live. This is the way it should be. I love that one. Yeah, it's not bad. You can have that. Oh, yeah. It's one for the photo album. I think it'll go in the fridge for a while. Yeah, there's something about that. Yeah.